Good morning. Well, today I am doing more things from my garden. I actually was going to use the Collection Obsession, um, the Weathered Vintage Garden, or the Vintage Weathered Garden, but uh, yeah, I just couldn't get it to work. And um, anyway, it's like when I pulled this picture out. Oh, and this picture is of a red spotted purple butterfly is what it's the um, English name for it but otherwise it's Limantus Arthemis <laughs> and that's its Latin name but anyhow um, this was a butterfly um, I had seen a few around the area and they loved the rotted apples so they would eat the apples that broke and fall, fell on the ground or fell on the ground and broke and um, they would just, he would just sit there and, you know, just flap his wings back and forth. And I just thought it was so pretty. I took so many pictures of it that um, if you watch it really, or if you look at them really fast, it looks like a movie. <laughs> so anyway, um, I decided to use from my mind's eye also, or that's one of the other ones I've been using lately is My Mind's Eye um, Gingham Foundry, which is all blue. And this one here, it, it has um, several different colors on it. They're kind of muted also. Well, actually, they does have some bright colors. But I chose this um, floral. It's kind of an off, a very subtle yellow. And then it's got the the light tans in it and I just kind of fell in love with it it's so beautiful and I'm gonna put it on this blue wood and I think probably I don't want it too far over but somewhere around here and so I'm gonna put that on here And I think it's six. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure I cut it six. But let me double check it. And I'll double check to make sure it's straight. It's going to say if it's not, it's because I cut it crooked. <laughs> and it's six inches. And it is ten inches tall. So I cut off two inches of it. And, um... And the reason how come I cut it this size was because I wanted this flower and its little dangling flower here. And I am going to place it kind of in the middle of this. And I want it up high enough that I can still see the flower. Uh, I gotta mute my phone here. <laughs> okay, let me see, make sure that's centered. And straight. Okay, that's good there, it looks like. Oh, I didn't even check to see if it was straight, or centered, and it is not. Let me bring it over a little. Okay. Oh my gosh, I, they have, um, everybody's, I'm in a, a group text. <laughs> you know how they can be torture. <laughs> okay, I don't know why this is such a problem for me. Okay. I need to just scroll everything down. <laughs> just go, here's my page. Okay, so um, I am using just blues and tans. And this is um, just a little piece that um, was in the Gingham Gardens embellishments. 
because everything is from Gingham Gardens with the exception of this paper is from Asuka and it's from their weathered wood and crystal collection which is just stunning and so I'm gonna put that up here and I have to tell you I just love love this I think it turned out so cute my plan. Hopefully it kept, comes back together again. I mean, it took me a lot to get to this plan. And me and my friend, we were both playing with it. It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Trying to get it to work with the other colors. Actually, didn't. we didn't try very hard. We're like, no, it's not going to work. Okay. So then I've got Fine Joy in the Journey. And I'm just going to stick it down at the bottom. And then um, I have a chipboard piece. And I'll get that little piece off there. And so I'm just going to put that right up here. Huh. Got little pieces coming from I don't know where. Okay. And then I have its name the Limantis Earth. Arthemist. Uh, I am trying to get that out. <laughs> and so it's just a little tab and I actually cut the tab in half because um, I figured since you're not going to see the other side anyway I'm going to save it. So I am just putting that right here. And it's, kind of, it's fun having its um, you know it's Latin name, especially when red spotted purple didn't sound really, really thrilling. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, and then I have the square, and the inside is tan, and I could pop it out, but I'm gonna use it like it is. And let me see, whoops, about where I want it here. I think probably about there. And then I have um, the same flower from the chipboard set. So I'm going to have three chipboards on this. Okay, I'll probably have to add glue to this because, I don't know, maybe it does feel stuck. Okay. And then um, I have a nest, which I just thought that was so adorable too. And I'm going to stick this down to the bottom and is my glue here? Yep. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stick a little glue down here so it's easier for me to get it glued. Before I stick that chipboard down. Okay, and I'll just leave that off. Okay, and then I'm going to stick this right on the corner. And then I have this little piece that's from the from the um what is it called? Pieces mix bag. And I'm just I'm just pulling off the little perforated pieces. Okay. And I'm just going to stick that right up here. And it's just like little tiny flowers and they're beige too. And oh, and I've got this dream that I'm going to stick right over here onto this square. Because to me, it is a really dreamy butterfly. Oh, now it is moving. Okay, I might have to glue that down. Okay, and I'm just going to tuck in that little dream arrow. And then I have this butterfly. 
And this is Mente, and it's from the Wings book. And I love having those books to... Now, um, these are kind of the smaller of the flower, of the butterflies. So, I mean, I think um, I might see if I can write to them and say, Hey, why don't you make some more smaller butterflies? <laughs> because so many of the ones that are in the Wings collection are quite large. And I really like to use them, you know, even on projects that aren't minté. Now, again, I've used dimensionals under the butterfly wings, and then I just glue down the body. And now, since I've got it overlapping this, I probably didn't need one there, but that's okay. And then I have another one, and I'm trying to decide if I want it here or here. Decisions, decisions. Because now I have a triangle of three butterflies, otherwise I kind of have a diagonal. I think I'll put it down here. You know, you think you have a plan, but then you still have, you know, okay, do I really like it there or do I want it here? <laughs> I don't know how I get in these group texts. Family. <laughs> okay, and so I think right about there. And then um, I got these new Gina Marie enamel dots. And the ones I used up first the last time that I got them were the white ones. Now these ones are kind of like this same color as this background. And I think they kind of look like water droplets. So that's what I'm going to use here. Okay, where'd it go? There it is. Oh, it might be there. Okay. I just think, I know something, I would have bought, you know, like just a whole sheet of white. <laughs> okay, now do I want them up here? See, since I've kind of have this elongated embellishments here, I don't know where to put them. I think I'm still going to put them by the butterfly. And then I'm going to put some, I think I'll put them up here because this is my other blue thing. So it's kind of by the blue, blue pieces. Okay. And that's really it. I mean, I'm kind of using this as my title and this is my little subtitle. And so that's it. I love it. I just, well, you know, I love blues. So that's, you know, <laughs> so you, you can imagine me out there just delighted taking pictures of this butterfly. Oh, when I seen it the other day and I went to grab the camera and then somebody came to the door and I didn't get out to get pictures of it. But I love this one. I mean, to me, he's just set out so, or set apart so beautifully by this rotted apple but I just love it oh boy these are not sticking at all I think they were kind of um, well they're the ones that they have the plastic back which is really nice because it's easy to pop them out otherwise you know they're always falling out so and I bet you this one is not sticking down either nope the only thing holding it on is the sticker that's on the butterfly Oops. Okay, I'm gonna have to tuck him under good. Okay. I left a little bit of paper on that. I'll have to glue that to that. Okay, so there. Yep, that's what it needs to be. 
Okay, and it's still stuck. Alrighty, now it's now it's done again. <laughs> so I will have close-ups at the end, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.